basically I'm back out on the streets but this time when I'm saying it it's a uh, it's a positive thing I know that's it's usually not the case when somebody starts the uh, the message off with that but uh, that's the old block uh, I'm going down I don't know if you've uh, uh, some of you guys may have never been this way it's where Seneca meets Cordova and where Seneca also meets South Crystal Lake. There's a stretch of sidewalk here that's pretty decent. And for my walks with the block, I go up and down this thing uh, 10 times. One hand, the other hand, and then an overhead. And it's just like for, you know, endurance, muscle endurance, and it, it does build muscle too. It's really increased my strength a lot. And it's very simple. The hardest thing about any of this is, you know, believing yourself enough to do it uh, having the determination to get through once you start once you feel the muscle burn once you feel like you're fizzling out You got to push through to the absolute end even if you have to stop a lot and it takes you a long time to finish Um, you if you do what you set out to do It's gonna become easier and easier each time and then before you know it after all your doubt And all your you know second-guessing yourself you, you've built something incredible all because you didn't give up and That's one of the things I'm gonna be talking about when I'm doing you know the personal training is that exercise is actually very very easy anybody can do this stupid people exercise and they have muscles all the time I mean I'm not necessarily the brightest bulb in the box but you know I've managed to go from fat out of shape alcoholic smoker into someone who is now you know having the confidence in themselves and their abilities uh, to be able to give advice at least to some degree on how other people can you know do the same thing for themselves when they normally wouldn't uh, Think that they even had the ability to do so so in accordance with that and everything I just said I'm gonna take you on one of these one arm carry reps and by reps I mean walks down the sidewalk and I'm gonna have it bent on my arm I guess I guess I can show you pick this thing up stop talking about it so much start actually doing it I'm gonna have it like here and uh, it's gonna be a long time I may have to stop for a little bit but I'm going to stop as, uh, for the least amount of time that it's uh, absolutely possible. And we're going to get through this one rep at least down the street together. So I can show you just kind of what I do and what I do to myself. All right. So we got our block here. We're going to keep it up a little bit like this. And I guess while we're walking, it doesn't have to be dead air. I can say some things like, uh, it definitely helps my strength helps my muscle endurance. Now what this probably is not going to do, uh, full disclosure is get you, you know, Hulk huge, where you're gonna be busting out like rep after reps of like plus 300 pound bench presses in the gym and all that. It's just gonna, it, it is gonna make you stronger a lot in a lot of different parts of your upper body, your mind, obviously, cause you had to fucking do this shit. And, uh, your forearms and your back and just really pretty much everything man the hardest part is it burns now my arm is burning so I've been up and down six times I've done six I'll be I'll be at seven when I reach here to the end and it burns it hurts a lot and in all honestly I'd rather not be doing this I wish there was another way however the reality is that there is not another way there absolutely there's there's net no there's no other way you have to do this and you can do this you see you just have to be willing to understand that while it is very uncomfortable and you're gonna live outside your comfort zone at least for this time you can do this I didn't think I could do this at first then I made myself try and I didn't do it <laughs> I just got I just did more than I thought I was gonna be able to and that's the thing, you build off that. You might, you might not hit your goal. And you're gonna get discouraged. It's gonna be very hard, you're gonna get discouraged because you're gonna say, oh, I didn't do the amount of reps I wanted to do. I didn't meet this goal. Well, maybe not, but you did more than when you weren't doing it at all, right? And you got some results as to where you would have gotten no results at all. And you've made yourself do that work. And now that work is in the bank. You can build off that work. 
And before you know it, the account of your worth ethic, ethic is going to be built up to where it actually is worth something to your body, to your abilities, and most importantly, to how you view yourself. Because when you view yourself differently than what you might view yourself now, or should I say how you might view yourself now, things like this become extraordinarily possible. And this is just the beginning. I'm walking up and down a cinder block like a maniac, burning these muscles out, trying to get these results so I can help other people do the same for themselves. Maybe not, it might not always be in fitness. Maybe it's in something else. I'm still working on myself. I'm trying to be a different person. And this is one of the ways that I'm gonna achieve my goal is honestly by helping other people realize that their goals might not be as far out of their reach as they originally thought. And while this is hard, and it's definitely not easy, you have the ability to do things like this and to make this kind of progress and to just build a better you. And I'm at the end of the street. And it's all possible. And in the future, if you want to work with me, if you want to be on my team so I can show you how to push, I don't need to show you, I'm going to show you how to do some exercises and we're going to do some things together in that respect. But the main thing I'm going to teach people and show people is you're stronger than you think, than you think. You can do more than you think. And when you don't quit, even if you don't immediately reach your goals, even if they seem far out of reach, even if the aftermath of your workout is sore and you feel like you're somehow less in shape than when you started, which is a feeling people get. People will get these programs and people will join these gyms to feel differently about themselves. They don't know that's what they want. They want the body, they want the strength, and they think that is going to make them feel differently about themselves. But when you don't have the mindset first and you try to do all this shit with this dieting, and it's working out, and these programs and these gym memberships, you will 100% fail every time because you don't know what's wrong. You don't have everything up here and in here that you need to use those things properly to get what you think you want. And you probably actually do want those things, but the thing you need first is the heart and the mind. And I promise you, I can show you how to get those two things. Even if my workouts turn out to be all jacked up and all fucked up to where every doctor in the country tells me I'm doing something fucking wrong, I can at least goddamn show you how to make a better foundation to build a better you out of your heart and your mind. That's what I'm going to do with my program. That's what I hope to do with you guys in your future. Stick with me, because if you do, I promise I'm going to stick with you, and we're going to both be better for it. All right. See you guys soon.